Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Crime and violence is a huge issue nationwide. Various strategies and programs have been implemented to help reduce such from occurring. Nearly half of all the crimes in the United States are committed by youth between the ages of 10 and 17. Juvenile crime increases each year at a rate that's double that of adult crime. One way to help detour juvenile crime was the creation of a program called Scared Straight. The Scared Straight program was first implemented in the U.S. in the 1970s. However, it became very popular in 1978 due to Arnold Shapiro's documentary, Scared straight. Hey, nigga, give up the car right now. <laughs> Look at your ass, scared straight. In that documentary, a group of delinquents were berated by a group of convicts known as lifers for three hours straight. You change it to go hang out. You need some help or something? That's right. Now, I took that. Huh? You can't talk? I, can talk. I said, how did you feel? Like you want to do something about that? See, you're thinking right now. But see, when you be out there running up in somebody's goddamn house, you don't be thinking. At the end of the film, the terrified teenagers stated that they have decided that they never want to go to jail. In 2011, Arnold Shapiro came back to produce a modern version of the documentary called A&E's Beyond Scared Straight. This TV show consisted of organized visits to prison facilities by juvenile delinquents or juveniles at risk of becoming delinquents. During contact with the juveniles, the adult inmates described their experience of cruel, harsh, unpleasant conditions connected with jail or prison. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lovely TTV. I remember making my kids watch this show with me and we even had watch parties back in the day on Twitter where we would watch and chat and laugh at these badass kids. Well, the truth is scared straight programs are developed by adults for kids. But kids don't react in the same way as adults. That's why the television series is very popular with adults, but very unsuccessful with kids. Beyond Scared Straight also diverted public support from programs that actually work in areas of prevention. The heavily dramatized nature of the A&E series could be the reason why parents desperately reached out to the Scared Straight program, despite its ineffectiveness. One of the most popular cast members was a young 17-year-old delinquent named Ashley. I remember her on that show, and I remember everyone being so obsessed with her because she was really about that life, and she checked the hell out of the sheriff that was trying to check her. Are you going to eat this or not? No, I'm in. Clean it up. Clean it up. Yeah. I'm going to dump that other one on you. So, so, Get out to clean it up. You better dump it on me then. That's fine. Put your heels on the wall. Now look at me. You're not gonna clean it up? Well, my hood I ain't. This ain't your hood. You know, I don't care, bro. Really? Yeah, for real. So now you're going all the way back to yep. the beginning. Damn right. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Turn around. Put your heels on the wall. Turn around. I need you to clean that up. You're gonna bunk with her tonight. Two of you ladies, clean this up. Thanks to her. Shut up, piggy. Shut up what? But you stand there and you watch her clean up your mess. Your mess? No, your mess, because that's your, your tray. You did that, bro. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Even her slogan, on my hood, I ain't picking that up, went viral for a bit. But unfortunately, she wasn't able to cash in on it like the cash me outside girl who was totally not about that life. Due to Ashley's popularity on the show, they brought her back for an update, but nothing had changed. Of the gang related lifestyle. <laughs> Lord, hey. Come here. Her come uncle, here. he was the one that actually raised her and took care of her. So she's actually looking up to him and thinking that's okay. To her, she got family and the homies mixed in one with her uncle. Come on. Before she even went to the jail, I knew it wasn't going to scare her because how do you scare somebody who's been dealing with the police their whole life? Come on. You know, I don't see jail in my future at all because I don't plan on doing well getting caught. <laughs> yeah. 
Go in the house. Go. Everybody went to jail once before. So, you no. can't just... You never been to jail? No, Ashley. Y'all never been to jail? Damn, not even in Vegas, drunk or nothing? I don't know. That's <laughs> crazy. I thought everybody goes to jail. I mean, everybody in my life is in and out of jail. So I thought everybody's life was like that, but I guess not. <laughs> I'm not gonna give up my gang life. It's my life. I don't care. The hood is always gonna be there. It's embedded in me. I mean, time changes people, but you know, stay me. She was still gang banging and running the streets. Now, fast forward to August 29, 2022, and we got word on social media that Ashley who is now 24 years old and goes by the name Ashley Tropez. Um, she was found dead in an abandoned house where she was squatting with another woman. This is what KTLA is reporting. Ashley was found dead at the 1600 block of Victor Street at approximately 11.10 a.m. on Friday, August 26. In an alert, officers revealed that the 24-year-old suffered traumatic injuries. The home where Ashley was found is located in an area between Radio Drive and Mojave Drive. On Friday, August 26, 2022, deputies of the Victorville Police Department responded to a report that there was a deceased person inside of an abandoned house. Deputies located Ashley Tropez inside the house suffering from traumatic injuries. Ashley was best known for her appearance on the TV series Beyond Scared Straight and was acquainted with another 24-year-old woman by the name of Alexis Call. Alexis was arrested and charged with the murder. She was charged on Friday, August 26. Alex is currently being held at the West Valley Detention Center in Rancho Cucamongo and faces a previous charge for a stolen vehicle. She is scheduled to appear in court on Monday, August 29th and Tuesday, August 30th for charges in connection to the stolen vehicle and the death of Ashley. At this time, Alexis Call is ineligible for bail. While the alleged suspect was present at the crime scene during the time of Ashley's death, Details surrounding a motive are set to be revealed in court. A further investigation revealed that the pair may have been squatting together at this home. So that is the update from the news. This entire situation is very unfortunate because Ashley, you know, she was a wayward child. She really didn't have a lot of stability. Her mom tried hard to, you know, help her out. But, you know, at the end of the day, Ashley was going to do what Ashley wanted to do. I hope that all the young people who are watching this take Ashley's life as a cautionary tale. You know, I don't think Ashley was a bad person. I just think she made a few bad choices. And it's sad that at the age of 24, she's been announced dead and she was never able to fully change her life around. So I hope people take this as a learning lesson. You know, they really tried to work with her on Beyond Scared Straight. But again, Ashley wanted to do what Ashley wanted to do. So on that note, you guys, thank you for taking time out to watch. Please make sure you guys like the video. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, please make sure that you're still subscribed to my channel. Please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Did you used to watch this show, Beyond Scared Straight? Did you enjoy the show? Um, do you remember Ashley from the show? And how do you feel about her death? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.